Hi everybody, I'm here with Michelle Neeson. I'm in her town where she lives. It's in Bend, Oregon. Uh -huh. I'm very happy that she's hosting me. She's my mentor. She's my mentor for holistic physical therapy, meaning that we also engaged pelvic floor in the treatment. Yes. It's now a few years that I know her. And why don't we go in the beginning? So the beginning on how we met or the beginning on how I got into pelvic health? Let's start how you got into pelvic health. Well, um, I would say that I got into pelvic health because I was treating low back patient, patients and patients that had a lot of either pelvic pain or pain with sex, different things that's happened. But it really came in because I was treating low back pain patients. Okay. And as I would talk to them, they would share with me all the problems that they were having related to pelvic pain, which might be pain with sex, constipation, anything like that. Um, and I started treating their pelvic floor and lo and behold, their back pain went away. <gasps> I know. It was so surprising. Mm -hmm. So we talked, we ju you just kind of briefly went through symptoms. What are the symptoms that maybe you don't even know? It's the pelvic floor dri driving them. So hip pain is one of them. Oh, right? hip pain for sure. Low back pain. Um, even knee and ankle pain can be from pelvic floor. Because again, everything happens at the pelvis. That's where the legs come into the body. And so any dysfunction that you have in the pelvic floor, the pelvic floor being just a little bit out of alignment can really contribute to low back pain, hip pain, knee pain, ankle pain. Interesting. But also all the way up to the head. That's, that's for me, the pelvic floor is like some kind of crossroad of the upper part of the body and the lower part of the body and kind of a um, creep that supports the organs, head, nervous system, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. That's why it's sometimes missing link when we are having chronic pain. Yes, yes, and I would say it's definitely those patients where symptoms just aren't going away and that the symptoms where they just keep coming back over and over and over and over again, very likely it has to really do with the, the abdomen and the pelvis and the and and the pelvis itself as the bony structure. Um, and so I find that treating that area in conjunction with everything else I do makes a world of difference for my patients. Mm -hmm. And also we can say that problems can be very local. So hemorrhoids, yes, pain with sex, pain with period, mm -hmm. uh, pain after delivery. Oh. I mean, I have that for so long where, you know, patients will be three, four, five months out and still having a lot of pain. Um, either in the vaginal region or returning to sex, anything like that, mm -hmm. um, they are still having a lot of symptoms. But even then, it goes to low back pain again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What that about very often is that incontinency and prolapse? Yep. So changes in the pressure system of the abdomen. If you can imagine just taking a balloon, blowing it up, and squeezing it, that can cause a lot of the problems that we have with prolapse. And so by treating up above, that helps with the prolapses. Mm -hmm. So really changing that pressure system mm -hmm. makes a big difference for pelvic floor. And one of the things you learned me is the coccyx is important driver in pelvic health and general pelvic, general health. Yes. yes. Because it's actually the end of the spine, right? Right. So it's where a piece of the spinal cord attaches, but it's also where the peripheral nervous system um, comes and crosses and the sympathetic nervous system. So it is supposed to be a tension reliever um, for the spinal cord and very often um, everyone's taken a fall. Everyone's taken multiple falls. And so the coccyx tends to be very dysfunctional and really driving the change in the position of the pelvis. So we can say if the coccyx also it can be maybe dislocated due to the delivery, right? Oh, for sure. If, if it is out of alignment, he or, or, or coccyx can be a driver for constant sym sympathetic nervous system firing. Mm -hmm. right? So yeah. we are in chronic stress just because we have a severe damage in coccyx region. Yes. And pelvic floor is, because of this, maybe tight, restricted. Yes. And it can influence the movement in the hips, lower back again. You know, and that's, that's the thing that she opened my eyes. 
I mean, Michelle, you are amazing. I, I came Thank across the world to s first to meet you and now to hang out with you. Yes. And she was in Slovenia for three times now. We are yes. planning the fourth visit. Yes. Uh, mentoring my team. So Patty Lament is blessed to have you. Well, thank you very Yay. much, and I'm blessed to have you. Yeah. And I think we've had such a fun time it's traveling awesome. around the world together. Amazing. And also, I would like to say that uh, your contribution to the Slovenian community, it's really big. So every time she comes to Slovenia, we organize therapies with her. And she, this is part of our mentorship as mm -hmm. well. Because your extensive um, knowledge and practice is what gives you a special spark, right? Well, I think for me, yes. Um, I would, you know, I had many mentors in my life and got to spend time with them. And I think that brought me to a different level of therapy. And I am honored to share that gift with you. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here in the USA. And can we just briefly talk about organizations. So we have patients. Uh -huh. We were traveling as well. We had a very good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make them tell you. <laughs> I'm going to make you tell them yeah. what happened. <laughs> so, yeah, when she she surprised me, she picked me up uh, and I thought we were going with a car just, you know, uh, to to the band, to the region where she lives. But when she, when I when I pick, when she picked me up, I was like, "Yeah, can I see the car? Where are we going to stay? Where is when it's what kind of motels we will you know check or or pick by the road?" And she didn't respond. And when I finally saw, she came with a big van. All oh, that has beds in it. That has and beds a kitchen. And, a, and kitchen. a kitchen. And I realized I will be traveling with her in a van. Camping, yes. it was amazing. I have never camped. I've always wanted, and now my wish also rose, rise. So, yeah. I mean, then we got to see Moab. Mm -hmm. um, we got to see the Northern Lights. I mean, all special things that happened during our trip. So yeah. I think we were very blessed to have done that. Yeah. And she got to see how big the United States really is. You are just driving and it never stops and the landscape is becoming different after each hill. Yeah. Yes. And, and that also, was also your roads are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell her that roads in the US are very well maintained uh, and I'm happy that I'm able to travel with her. <laughs> well, it was, it was <laughs> lots of fun. So, and I'm excited for this class. I'm excited for you to be doing this class to help so many people. You mean the, online school? Right? Online school, yeah. because to be able to do the online school and to be able to bring awareness to so many different patients that are out there that don't even know that they should be clients yes. um, is unbelievable. And I, th I think that's a gift that you have. And I'm very excited to see you use that medium to really help reach out to people. So the first thing that I realized it's A, pelvic floor is very important mm -hmm. for all of us. B, not a lot of people even know that symptoms that are not really in the pelvic floor are, the pelvic floor is the driver of the symptoms. Right. And the headaches. Like it's crazy. Headaches. Headaches, headaches neck pain, all of that can be driving from the pelvic floor. Yep. Or and from the pelvis, not just the pelvic floor, but from the pelvis. And in online school, we will do self-treatment. I will personally show you and teach you how to self-treat the pelvic floor. We will do all the things in the hip region that will reduce the tension in that area. I will again guide you through the abdominal massage, through the specific organ massage that also helps with the pelvic floor. Because they are connected, right? Oh, absolutely. Organs are connected to pelvic floor, yes. are connected to diaphragm. Yes. And they change the pressure systems. And they change the pressure, pressure systems and also influence the breathing. Yes. And the breathing is important for the pelvic health. Yes. So for all of you who wants to do like something holistically for yourself, Michelle is also attending in our online school. She will talk about dysfunctions. Uh, and actually... I believe this is investment for all participants, right? Oh, absolutely. It's like maybe you have today headache or you have an incontinency, but this will stay. This knowledge is so new. And I know Michelle is like a um, pioneer 
regarding pelvic and physical therapy in general, right? Mm, yeah. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I mean, you are very special. I wouldn't so. say that, but thank you very much. <laughs> so that's that's my, my intention, that no matter where you are in your life right now, this online school will give you tools whenever you will need it. So for instance, you fall on ski or you right. have a ski accident and all of a sudden you go to online school to check the hip release or whatever we will do like pelvic floor release by yourself and this will help reduce the complication a lot right and 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 it's not age it's not age related i mean it can be age related but i mean we're talking these are clients that can be like in their teenage years to 20s 30s 40s all the way up 80s 90s i mean there is not an age group that this and men and women for sure. Men men suffer from it just as much as women do. Um, they just don't talk about it as I much. I know, I know. The, the, so I think the that's a big thing. The only thing we decided this year that this school will be only for women. Oh, that's fine. Because for men, we need to have a specific things. And then right. I was like, maybe there would be an extension of two weeks. We will figure out, but I agree. And there are five, no, actually 10% of our clients for pelvic floor that are men. Yes. So they are still not talking about it, especially no. in my region, you know. So if you are after delivery, if you have fallen, if you have a car accident, maybe some kind of operation surgery in abdominal region with scars. Yes. Because we will put a lot of tension on the scars wherever in the body in order to release whatever is holding the lack of mobility. Right? Yes. Yes. So who else? Um, I would look for people that just have back pain or hip pain or pain that goes away and just comes back. Um, even though you get treatment, then I would look for, for something that might be related actually to the pelvis or the abdomen. Um, and I would say that patients that have a tendency to feel like they're always tight and can never stretch enough that those tend to be patients that we're interested in very much as what well. What about digestion? Huge component. Huge component. So digestion is a huge component, which means that like if you're having problems with either diarrhea or constipation, anything like that, this can be driven by the by the abdomen and the pelvic girdle. Mm -hmm. um, and, and inflammation. So the abdomen is the primary place where we um, produce hormones and anti-inflammatory um, areas. And so 70% of the hormones and 70% of the anti-inflammatories for the body are made in the abdomen. And so if your digestion is poor and you have trouble with either diarrhea or constipation, then that's going to change your body's reaction to chronic inflammation. And now that we're talking about hormones, it would be good to tell all perimenopausal women, meaning 35 plus, mm -hmm. and menopausal women would benefit from this program because yes. we'll treat the abdominal region, right? Then? Yes, yes. We'll treat the abdominal region so that helps with hormones. Yeah. And then we'll also probably talk about some hormone replacement therapy that can be very advantageous for sexual drive, um, and, and just for energy level, mm -hmm. that I think that that makes a big difference for many women. And now that we are talking about gynecology, actually, uh -huh. I would like you to just know that my gynecologist will be part of this online school. She's very famous gynecologist um, because she's working in the private sector. We prefer to be just a little bit of like hidden. Her yes, name should yes. be just a little bit not really in the front page. And she's coming... You will not believe me. <laughs> She's coming here to bend that we will treat her. This yes. is amazing. This it is, is amazing. Funny. And she will talk about perimenopause and pe menopause. And we've been talking about, I've been talking to her about uh, replacement, hormonal replacement yes. therapy. She's up to date about it. I think she's one of the rarest in Slovenia that knows all of that. Because we've been talking about patches. And she told me that you can get patches from Italy. You have to pay for it because Slovenia is so small ma market mm -hmm. that we, we have only pills. Uh -huh. And I believe patches are perfect because the level of hormones is so low. Right, right. So she will A, come here for treatment with her husband, and B, she will be in our online school, and I can't wait to represent more and talk about 
perimenopause, which I'm slowly coming into this region, or how do you say to I'm already season. there. She's already <laughs> there, and she... <laughs> And you are the one actually. And we've had a lot of discussions about this. Yes, the the last time you were in Slovenia, you were like, "Oh, just wait till you come to that <laughs> period, right?" Yes. So, is it hard? Um, there are definitely challenges that come with it. Sleep is the primary one. Yeah. I mean, for me, for me, it's sleep, but and mood, mood swings. Or nah, mood. that that part wasn't very hard for me. <laughs> we will talk about oh, the receptors of estrogen. They're all around. E mm -hmm. Even the joint pains can be the drier oh, yes. from est lower estrogen. Uh, and like severe uh, memory loss, mm -hmm. like brain fog. Yeah. So I think this online school is for all of you who just heard yourself in this story. And actually for our well-being, right? Yes. We should, as a woman, su women support each other, and that's what this online school is going to be. I'm, I am very excited about it. And I can't wait to see it, but it really needs to be in English. I agree. She <laughs> wants me to do only in English, so we can go in English yes. markets. So we can come to our market. Yay! So let's let's do it like this. This will be a 10-week course for Slovenians, and if you will like it, then we will go in America. Oh, that okay. sounds perfect. Thank you for having me here, Michelle. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Bye.